The future of design will include preventive measures, and one important topic will be clash prevention. With Clash Preventer, you can be ahead and prevent interferences by letting the app run real-time automated clash detection tests as you work. Here's how it works. Under the Bird Tools ribbon tab, you can find the push buttons related to this app. To configure this app, pressing the leftmost configuration gear will give you access to the configuration form. Under this form, you can first select whether you want the app to run the automated real-time tests or whether you want to use the app in its manual form. The automatic mode has been optimized to perform tests on elements as they are modified, and it was conceived with high performance and efficiency in mind, which is why you'll notice that you won't feel any performance degradation while this app is running. When the automatic mode is selected, the detected clashes will automatically be added to this app's internal memory which then can be converted into a clash report through the clash report viewer. An option to notify the user whenever a clash is found can also be accessed through this form. It is recommended for this option to be toggled on, although if the user finds it intrusive, he can simply switch it off. The list boxes allow the user to select the filtering categories. These list boxes support multi-selection through the shift and control keys. An option to include linked elements is also accessible through the lowermost checkbox. Note that the app will remember your settings even after you close your current session. Now you can benefit from this app. As you work, whenever a modified element is clashing with another, the clashing elements will be added to the report and a notification window will be shown. This notification window will list the recently detected clashes. You can view these clashes in 3D. Your own default 3D view will be used. You can also overwrite the clash report which would remove all previously detected results, and you have an option to tile open views when closing the notification window, which proves to be easier when you're solving these clashes. Three manual modes also exist. The first is a selection clash detection mode, where the user checks selected elements for clashes which is crucial whenever a critical element or area needs to be checked for clashes with a higher priority. The selected elements will be checked for clashes, and the user has the option to add the clashes to the report, to overwrite the report, to view the clashes in 3D and to tile the open views. The other two modes would automatically select all visible elements in the current view, or all the elements inside the project, respectively. The operation of these tools is identical to that of the selection clash detection. We've been mentioning the clash report all along. The clash report can be accessed through the last of the push buttons. The user will be able to access and visualize all the automatically detected clashes in 3D. The clash report viewer is crucial when solving clashes. When a 3D view of the clashing elements is opened and the user closes the clash viewer to solve the clash, the selected clash will be remembered, and when the clash report viewer is opened again, the last selected item will be checked for clashes and automatically cleared in case the clash is solved. By the way, you can assign keyboard shortcuts to all these tools for a quicker access, or you can add them to the quick access toolbar. It is recommended that after you solve a clash using the clash report viewer that you reopen the viewer using a keyboard shortcut for a quicker access. You can also export the report into an Excel-friendly file that allows you to send these clashes to another party, to save your report for the next day, to include them into an overall coordination report, or to track and visualize clashes in Excel and to sort and mark them based on importance, category, or user. The exported file can be imported later on into the viewer, which would be very handy when a report is saved at the end of the day and accessed the next day or when reports are shared or divided among users. Please keep the file format unaltered when importing clash reports. Bird tools will not be responsible of the consequences that follow importing an altered clash report file, which can range from a small error dialog to an entire nuclear disaster. Cheers!